Hi, Digital Arts. We are on to our last two composition techniques for you guys to learn prior to our quiz. So real quickly, I'm going to go over these with you. Um, there shouldn't be really anything too hard about these ones. Uh, so the first one is pattern, rhythm, and repetition. Um, as you might see uh, patterns in the fact that these are also elements of art, many of the things that we're learning, as well as being useful in photography. So pattern, obviously, is a combination of elements repeated in a recurring or regular arrangement. Rhythm is the combination of elements repeated, but with variations. So repetition also refers to one repeated object or shape. So if you look at the examples given, um, pattern is, you know, obviously the same house, the same little antennas. Rhythm, maybe one little thing is different, as you can see the little bird. It's the break, the pattern, to focus on one of the elements that stands out. Types of repetition could be artificial, um, looking at man-made designs that create patterns, subjects of repetition, so a whole field full of rocks. They are slightly different, but the idea is still the same because they're all rocks. And then natural. Natural produces some very beautiful repetitions. The placement of trees in a forest, in rock formations, try to find the difference to break up the pattern. Um, this could be even like waves on the ocean. All right, moving on over to perspective and depth. This is a lot like lines. So perspective is the viewpoint that you take though. So we're not just looking straight ahead now, we're looking different ways. So linear is looking for converging lines to create a vanishing point, something that goes away in the distance. Diminishing, it creates a infinite depth. You don't really know where it's going and it highlights subjects to draw the viewer's attention. So maybe the subject is this barn way off in the distance, but you know our eyes are still traveling along that line. Uh, the convergence of perspective, very low. Like if you're on the ground or ground level, this might be from maybe a third story building would be medium, and then high would be kind of flying overhead in a plane. And you can see that point of view down below. So linear is still, you're up higher, but you're looking straight ahead. Um, this would be maybe you are in, it's hard to tell what this is, but maybe say you're in New York City in Times Square and you look straight up and you're surrounded by buildings and you see the sky ahead. And then from above would be a bird's eye view is what this is called, or you know, from a plane or from something in the sky. So for this week's composition, you're going to do two types of perspective shots. Maybe you want to get real low in the grass and have the perspective from like a mouse uh, point of view. Or if you want to try to look down on something, um, maybe you stand on a chair and shoot down towards the ground. And also two types of pattern, rhythm, and repetition. Now you choose the two. Maybe you want to do pattern and um, artificial repetition. Or you want to do rhythm because you can find something that's almost all the same with one slightly uh, off subject and a natural repetition with a whole bunch of maybe old leaves on the ground. Uh, so these are your last two. You're going to do four slides just like before, and then we will take our quiz uh, right before Thanksgiving. Thanks, guys.